because I am certainly not an elitist. I could have been, I could have been an elitist. I could have went down that path. Chose not to. I chose to stay here with the home folks, you know. But I could have went down that path. I could have. I didn't want to. That's why I catch all kinds of hell. Haven't you guys ever wondered why I catch all kinds of hell? I catch all kinds of hell because I didn't choose to go down the elite path. I choose to stay here with the with the home folks, you know. And because I made that choice, you know, I I get all kinds of flack over it, you know. I could have embraced the dark side of the force, <laughs> but I chose not to. Speaking of the Jedi thing, man, I'm serious as a heart attack. I'm thinking about doing the whole Jedi thing, man. Even getting it patented if I have to. What I'll have to do, though, is I'll have to do like they did with the Klingon language for Star Trek. I gotta, I gotta jump through a bunch of hoops so that I don't, so that I don't get everybody and their brother trying to sue me for copyright. <laughs> what I have to do is I have to, I have to use it, but I have to change it to such an extent to where that it no longer is attached with Star Wars and but is its own entity like they did with Klingon language. For those of you who have no clue what the fuck I'm talking about the Klingon language is now a real language. It was drafted by a linguist and what they've done is they jumped through a few legal hoops to where that they can break it off from Star Trek and so now Klingon language is a real language. It has its own institute and all that good shit. And um, so it's it's kind of made a life of its own. I want to do the same thing with the Jedi religion. I want to actually, you know, I've got 30 years of religious study under my belt. If anybody can make the Jedi religion into a real religion, me, it's me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pursue that avenue and make the Jedi religion an actual literal religion with an actual literal seminary and you know all that shit all the bells and whistles and of course the Jedi religion is part of its religion is martial arts so you know and I also happen to be somewhat proficient in martial arts as well so you know it all kind of works out for me but anyway I have 30 years experience uh, with religious study and I can document that if necessary. I've been approached by uh, Protestants and Catholics for seminary. Uh, the Catholic Church uh, wanted me really, really bad, and I told them to go fly kite. And then the Protestants wanted me to attend seminary. I told them to go fly kite. So, um, you know, I've been approached by the biggest and the best. I have not had an audience with the Pope, though. That's one thing I haven't done. But other than that, I get it all squared away. So if there's anybody that can take Jedi and make it into an actual literal religion with a seminary, with all the bells and whistles, with all the legal mumbo jumbo, you're looking at it. So I guess you could say in a, in a way I'm going to be the first Qui-Gon Jinn. For real. Crazy, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually thinking seriously about it. Now am I going to do it? I don't know. You know, i got to see how expensive that shit is. All right. If it turns out that it ain't real expensive, hell yeah, I'm on that shit. But, uh, you know, if it looks like it's going to be expensive, well, we'll have to see. But um, first thing i got to do is i got to cut it, cut it loose from Star Wars um, just a little bit so that I don't have, you know, Lucas and Spielberg and all them guys breathing down my neck saying, What are you doing, Bon? You know, either that or get it cleared through them first. And, um, you know, then when I get that shit cleared up, then, then I can pursue it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm seriously thinking, seriously thinking about turning it into an actual, literal religion. You know, so all them Aussies that wrote Jedi as their official religion, <laughs> they'll be able to do it legally this time. <laughs> Just do it. It's the internet. Well, no, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, really, I mean, I'm talking literally do it. You know, all the legal paperwork and all that stuff, you know, have an actual semin seminary, have an actual study that combines religion, martial arts, and, well, let me, let me change it. Let's not use the word religion. Let's use the word spirituality, shall we? Uh, that combines spirituality with martial arts, kind of like the Buddhists, but on steroids. 
or the Shaolin monks on steroids, something kind of like that, you know. And then uh, act actively pursue, uh, you know, some other things in relation to the Jedi religion, like I said, trying to move objects and shit like that, you know, the, the scary part. But uh, hey, you never know. Why create another religion? Because this one actually might make sense. <laughs> I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have any dogma in this in this thing, man. I'm gonna get rid of all the ain't gonna be no dogma in, in the Jedi religion, okay? It's gonna be straight up shit, you know. Now if you don't want it, you don't like it, drive yourself on, you know. But I don't want no dogma in, in you know, if I may, if I'm gonna make this thing, ain't gonna be no dogma in it, all right? There won't be. Trust me on that shit, because I don't like dogma anybody and more than anybody else does. All religions have dogma. Eh, all the current religions have dogma. But I'm not going to have any of mine, man. Not if I can help it. Not if I can help it. Where's Yoda? <laughs> Yoda may be out there. Hey, you never know. The universe is a big place, man. You know? The universe is a big place. I'm not going to say there ain't nothing. See, that, that, that's something that really aggravates the hell out of me is when somebody gets up and says that something, whatever it is, absolutely does not possibly exist. Well, how the hell would you know? I mean, do you, do you know the whole universe? You know, the universe is a pretty big place. You know, I, I think that, you know, maybe something might be out there. We just don't know about it, you know. I think I think some of them I think Spielberg, Lucas, and these other guys I think they more know more than what they're letting on, but they can't say anything, so they put it through their movies. You know what I'm saying? They're not they're not allowed to say much, so they just they put it in a movie, and then it's like, oh well, it's in a movie, therefore it's fiction. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that shit.